These tiny pieces of metal are called stents. They look relatively the same, but are not. The one on the left is a bare metal stent. The stent on the right releases medication after it is placed into a blocked coronary artery. There has been a controversy uh, as to the use of drug eluting stents specifically in patients presenting with uh, acute uh, heart attacks. More than 10 years ago, the first drug eluting stents released medication that would help keep the artery open through a durable polymer. However, the polymer stayed in the artery at the top of the stent. There were concerns that actually these drug eluting stents may lead to adverse events such as uh, occlusion of the artery with uh, blood clots. Dr. Stefan Windecker from Bern University Hospital in Switzerland and co-authors conducted a randomized controlled trial involving more than 1,100 patients undergoing emergency cardiac catheterization. These patients were treated at 11 clinical sites in Europe and Israel. Approximately half the patients received a bare metal stent and half the patients received a new generation drug eluting stent releasing the drug biolimus with a biodegradable polymer. That is a polymer which degrades into water and carbon dioxide during a period of six to nine months after the drug has been released and renders the stent surface more closely to actually a bare metal stent. Clinical follow-up was performed at one and 12 months. Their drug eluting stent was more effective in preventing new blockages within the treated segment the study appears in this week's JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. The occurrence of new heart attacks within that treated segment was slower with the biodegradable polymer as compared to the bare metal stent. And it reduces the incidence of serious cardiovascular events by more than 50%. Researchers say if 1,000 patients are treated with the biodegradable stent, 42 future cardiac events may be prevented compared to its bare metal counterpart. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.